Okay, here's a look at New Age Michael, number 53, which is their version of a legend scaled Omega Supreme. So here's just a quick look at the figure. Really big figure for a legend scale and really nice, which I'll get into. But first, as always, let's uh, first take a quick look at the box. So here's the front of the box with uh, the design from the uh, original Diaclone uh, packaging. So that's kind of nice how they always uh, give homage to that. And then the back of the box, here you get uh, what looks like a scene from the cartoon. I'm not sure what exactly because of the background here, but... Um, Definitely looks like a scene from the cartoon. And then we have the side of the box here with the nice product image, both a uh, robot and the alt mode defense base Michael. Really nice. The other side, same thing, Michael 53. And then the top of the box. So this is nice. You get some poses here and the bottom with some different side views of the robot and also the uh, tank and rocket so that's a look at the box and it's really really nice so now let's take a closer look at the figure and first thing uh accessories he does not come with any accessories he only comes with this extra a screwdriver so you can unscrew the piece so you can put in the battery and an extra screw here if you need it for some reason and it does not come with batteries for that uh, gimmick so here I had to get it from Amazon so I got a whole set that will last me for a lifetime <laughs> so this is what you need uh, for um, uh, for the electronic features for Omega here and, and then as always the instructions this is all you get is one page that's all folded up so let me just try to get a good shot so you can uh, see pause and refer to this for reference if you need it and all I have to say is this is Despite being a parts former, this is actually a very easy, simple transformation, which makes this figure fun to play with. So that's really nice. So now let's uh, take a closer look at uh, all the details. Starting off here with the head. So let's take a close up look at that head see how well they nicely sculpted the head getting some reflections but that's a nicely sculpted head in my opinion got some defined lips there and the nose the eyes with the metallic blue paint so that's really nice and i like how it's cartoon accurate with this uh, uh red cannon piece extending all the way uh, not too much detail on the head but this is really nice and articulation uh, it just unfortunately this just um, only uh, swivels to the left and right uh, you don't really get any other articulation I mean you can manipulate it like this to get an upward view but that's not really part of the head articulation um, and it's friction so yeah, um, but it holds up really well so that's really nice and uh, this is not like the uh, Pengu or DX9 where you could uh, you know flip it around because uh, they do have a, a faux headpiece which you'll see later and then let's come down here look at that all the nicely uh, sculpted detail but this is missing some accented paint like orange like fans toys and dx9 um so that's you know the only criticism i would say 
Um, but for me, that doesn't really matter. But just pointing out, this doesn't really have a lot of paint. And this is a little disappointing. I mean, the shoulders are on friction. I mean, at least it holds up pretty strong. But that was a little disappointing for me. But the outward does have a ratchet. You do get a bicep swivel on a ratchet. You also get a elbow ratchet that extends more than 90 degrees. So that's cool, but it breaks up the uh, uh, shape of the arm. And then let's go over here are the claws. I mean, this is kind of cool. They gave you two points of articulation. Um, and I will point out one criticism here that I do agree with some people. I mean, this does look a little puny when you look at it, the arm, the claws that do look a little small. And um, I mean, it's not a big deal, but just have to point it out. There is no light feature here, like on Pengu toys, which on mines, unfortunately, I did not get. Um, but yeah, um, I don't know, just pointed that out. If that matters to you, whether or not you get LED lights for the arms, but this does not, it does have that nice electronic feature, which you'll see in alt mode. And then here, coming down all the chest, I mean, it's all very cartoon accurate detail. So that's nice. And then what's cool is you do get a soft ratchet uh, for waist swivel. So that's really cool. Uh, I don't think uh, the Pengu toys gave you that. And then this is also cool. Let's lift that up. You do get <laughs> ratcheted uh, ab crunch. That's really cool. That's just some extra articulation that's ratcheted. It's really nice. And then coming down here to the legs. This is a big plus. Look at that. Or listen to that. All that nice uh, clickety ratchet going forward and back which is on die cast and you can extend it out so you can uh, have the leg go out 90 degrees. That's really impressive. And then it does go out to the side on ratchet also. So that's really nice. And then here you also get soft ratchet for the knees too. So, I mean, this is just getting a lot of pluses right here just for that alone. I do like the pointed kneecaps, which is cartoon accurate. And then the feet, just plain and simple. Um, but you do get <laughs> like a toe tilt up, no tilt down. So that's more than the other versions. And you do get a ankle rocker, which you can use for a nice wide A stance if you want. So that's really cool. So that's the articulation. And so, yeah, let's do this. I forgot to do this. Let's uh, actually compare this with the animation model and see how well they did capturing the cartoon aesthetics. And you could see they did a really nice job. Um, the only thing that, you know, I, it's hard for me to say is like the color of the wings and the biceps. You know, some scenes in the cartoon it has that cream color but then others it's like a, a whitish light gray so yeah it depends and it's the same thing with the details here some of them they do have those little four details but then other scenes in the cartoon it's pretty plain so can't really speak to that in terms of cartoon accuracy because don't know which one's cartoon accurate but that's a look from the front view and then yeah the side needs some attention because these are really cool this kind of weird to me these rounded pieces but it's part of the transform clever transformation for the rocket uh, look at all the nice uh, accurate detail here even this which is really nice um, part of the electronic feature and then the back. Okay, so again, you know, this is kind of lacking on paint, which might bug some people. So I'm just pointing that out. But for me, 
you know that doesn't bother me at all and actually this is cartoon accurate how it's not painted the gunmetal gray like the other versions this is more important all this nicely sculpted detail here and this is an <laughs> An issue for me, look at how huge this is compared to that. That's uh, kind of exaggerating the accuracy of the cartoon. But yeah, uh, it is what it is. It's just a little bit too big in my opinion. But speaking of the cartoon, let's compare this back view with the animation model. And you could see, yeah, they did a really nice job. So... This is really, really a nice figure. That's all I'm going to say. So, uh, let's just uh, look at the figure. This is a really great figure and it has a good weight to it. The proportions. Let me see if I can come back here a little bit to get the whole figure in view. This is really a nice figure. It's a good size, good weight good shape proportion other than these claws being a little small um, all the details maybe it's lacking some paint accents um, you know I like that triangle thing here um, the triangle yellow kneecaps the back I mean the articulation the ratchets this is really really nice so now let's uh, just transform this to his alt mode and take a look at that. The Transformers will return after these messages. Okay, here's a look at Omega in his rocket base mode. And as you can see, for the most part, this looks really, really nice. So let's just take a quick look at the animation model and see how well they did. And you could see for the most part, you know, it's pretty spot on. Just little nitpicky things like the yellow you see on the New Age version, which is not on the cartoon animation, but that's understandable. And what's cool is when you take a look at the transformation from the cartoon, <laughs> it looks really, really nice. So I'm really loving this figure. So let's uh, just take a closer look and look at all the details. So starting off at the rocket, you can see all the nicely sculpted detail. Um, very nice. And I like the length of the rocket. It's not too long, not too like War for Cybertron Siege, and not too short like the original. So this is actually pretty accurate in terms of scale, in my opinion. And then here you could see the base piece with like a helipad, which would be nice to have a legend scale blades right there. And just, uh, just looking at some details, they put some transparent plastic right there. Interesting, the yellow, these uh, yellow kneecaps, they don't really tab in, they just kind of sit in that little slot there. The tracks which is nicely done and then the tank mode yeah this is important I mean look at that really nice the only downside I think is um, what another reviewer I think like Larkin already pointed out this unfortunately is not able to articulate up and it looks like they could have easily done it because you could see that pin so it does have to fold up. So they could have done something where you could have at least articulated it. But again, look at all the nicely sculpted detail. The only downside, uh, and I agree with something else he pointed out, is there's no uh, accented paint detail here. I mean, certain areas like right here, it could have used a little touch of silver paint. Something that fans toys would do, but yeah, aside from that, it, it still looks really, really amazing. This is really an amazing figure. So, another feature. So, let's just show you this. And this is really cool. 
I mean, I don't know how you feel about it. Some people think that this is silly, but they do acknowledge that this uh, does bring back some nostalgic feel because the original G1 toy did move like this, but it did have some lights, which this does not have. Um, and it doesn't walk in robot mode, but um, yeah, I can, I, my guess is that this would have just been way too expensive if they would have just added more features but just this alone <laughs> this is really cool i'm digging this a lot this is an awesome set and this is definitely going to be one of the top 10 figures for 2023 so that's um just a look at omega in his uh rocket base alt mode so now let's just go ahead and transform this back into robot mode and have our final thoughts. Okay, here we have Omega back in robot mode and my final thoughts on this figure. This is definitely a figure worth getting if you're a Legends collector because um, it's truly awesome. Um, from the sculpt to the design uh, and there are little nitpicky things I was pointing out such as uh, if you see the claws they do look a little puny and then back here the lower legs these uh, yellow triangle pieces they're maybe a little bit too big especially compared to up here how they're very small and then the cream color for the wings and the arm, which it's probably like a subjective preference based on what part of the cartoon you're referring to. So just like down here, I was telling you that also depends, you know, does it have the little four little details there or not? Some parts in the cartoon you see it and some you don't. Same thing up here, some of them you see it's cream color and some of them you see it's like a white, uh, lightish gray color. But aside from that, um, just the, uh, look at the sculpt, the engineering design, fun transformation, the re really cool electronic uh, feature where it's, you know, motorized tank going around. The ratcheted legs, which is very, very important. Some die cast. All the little sculpted detail. Um, yeah, this this is a this gets a lot of pluses. And like I said, this is definitely a running for the top 10 figures for 2023. So with that said, I'm just going to say this is really a great figure. And... I'm going to give this a rating of a 9.5 out of 10. That's how awesome this figure really is. And I highly recommend it uh, if you can afford, you know, this one. Or if you want to, you know, go for a bargain, you know, for something less than half the price, which is the Pengu version. Um, this is not bad because it definitely looks the part. Uh, but there are issues with this one, like I already pointed out. But uh, it, it can fill in. I mean, it like I said, it looks apart. Um, but yeah, um, this one is definitely better. And so I will do my comparison between these two also. So stay tuned for that. So with all that said, this is a great figure. And if you can afford it, I highly recommend it for everything I pointed out. And so I give this rating again, 9.5 out of 10. Great figure by New Age.